Do you know what time it is? Craft time. Do you know what time it is? Craft time. Do you know what time it is? Craft time. Well, let's get crafting. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Diet, and welcome back to another episode of Turtle Creativity's Craft Time. Mm -hmm. So, today we're going to be doing Q tip painting. Mm -hmm. We're going to be painting with q-tips so this project i created on one of my craft with me lives and i took you on the steps of how to create and have fun with q-tips so today i'm going to show you step by step in this tutorial how to take a blank canvas <laughs> and some q-tips and turn it into something similar to this are you ready to get crafting well, let's get crafting. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, everyone. So this is the painting that I did with Jess Q-Tips during one of our live streams. So I'm going to move this aside. And I'm going to take this blank canvas and begin to prepare it. So I'm going to use some black. And I'm going to paint this whole canvas black. And I'm just doing up and down strokes. And I'm using just this little um, sponge. Let me get the edges too. Now, the, the Q-tip painting that I did during the live stream, I used more of the greens and blues and yellows and white. And I did sprinkle some glitter on top of it. For this one, I wanted to do purple and some pink. white again and I still want to do that silver glitter as well so again just covering my canvas and you if you're recreating this you can color your canvas any color you want if you do not care to have like a background you can go ahead and take your regular white canvas and begin to q-tip painting just from that i want to start off with like i said this black background now i'm going to go ahead around and do the edges Now, if you want a black canvas and you don't want to paint it, they do sell um, canvases that are already black. But I like to create. <laughs> so I don't mind buying a canvas and painting it. all my edges and there we go let's do on this one because I'm gonna bring my design down the sides of it all right so just I'm going back over it just one more time just to smooth out all the edges because I want this black paint to actually seep through my canvas. All right, my friends, I'm going to push that up in front 
because while that is drying, I'm going to prepare my Q-tips. Now, I just have a regular old cotton swabs because Q-tips is the brand name of basically a cotton swab. But I'm going to grab a couple my cotton swabs, Q-tips, <laughs> whatever you have. <laughs> and I'm going to put, create a couple of bundles. So that's six, let's do three more. So nine. So I'm going to bundle it together like this. And I'm just going to put some tape around it. Now, you don't have to put tape around it. You can hold it together and paint that way. So I'm, sure, I'm actually going to show you what it will look like if you put some tape around it. And then the rest of them, I'm just going to show you if you just want to bundle it. So like I said, if you want to put some tape around it, you can do this. Put some tape. This is nine Q-tips together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or you could just hold your nine and paint it just like this. So that's another option. I'm gonna put some tape around here. Another bundle. All right, so I'm gonna use, so one is gonna be purple, one will be, when I say pink, and we're gonna do some white too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A couple of more. Nine, so this is gonna be a set. Um, so what we said, purple, pink, white, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just going to do another bundle because I also have a lighter pink that I think I want to use as well. All right, we're going to put my bundles aside and let me show you some paint options that we're going to use. So. We're gonna use Lovely Lavender, and this is Palmer's paint that I'm using for this. And let's see. Pretty Pink. I'm gonna use some Pretty Pink because it's pretty, pretty. <laughs> um, this is a pop of color, fluorescent. Um, color so this is neon pink I'm gonna use some neon paint as well and then of course white I'm gonna use some white in it and I think those are all the colors that I'm gonna use if anything else I may put a hint of yellow so let's grab yellow <laughs> and we'll use that all right so here's my little paint tray. There's my yellow. My neon pink. Oh, that's so pretty. Which was a nice segue for my pretty in pink. <laughs> and then we have lovely lavender. Y'all know Jasmine's favorite color is purple. <laughs> I'll put that right there. And then we have some white. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just move this to the side. And my canvas, I believe, is good enough for me to begin. Hopefully this is nice and centered for everybody to see. All right, so with my first bundle, I'm going to start off with some of this neon pink because I'm 
I'm loving this neon pink. So simply what you do is you're dipping the paint. You're dipping your Q-tips into the paint. And let me actually show you that. So here's my little paint. Dipping the Q-tip straight into the paint. And you'll see you have the colors on the Q-tip. And once you do that, dab it onto your canvas. No particular order. Just continue to dab. I love Q-tip painting because, again, I try to think of things that's easy to do, kid-friendly, senior-friendly. Um, now, of course, some projects are not those things, but painting with Q-tips, come on, friends. <laughs> we all can do this. All right, I'm going to use my other end for yellow. adding the yellow and again I don't have no particular way I'm doing it I'm just going ahead and dipping it in the paint and adding it to the canvas all right let's now go in with that pretty pink pretty pretty <laughs> And I'm going to dab it coming down here. And again, I'm going down through my sides of my canvas. Let me scoot it up so you guys can see. I'm taking my um, color down through the edge of my canvas. Some more of the pretty pink. Because the pretty pink is what, everybody? Pretty! <laughs> all right now i'm gonna go in with jasmine's favorite color purple purple well lavender <laughs> lavender blue dilly 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 <laughs> all right So some purple. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna come back with the neon pink. And again, no particular way or order. I tell you, friends, I, I will say it all the time that don't worry about messing up with crafting or painting because you're creating a creation and it's okay. I'm telling you, a lot of my things that I thought I messed up were my biggest creations ever. Okay, I'm gonna come now with another bundle and I'm gonna be using white. Now this is the one that's not bundled together and as you can see, it's still giving it a different pattern, but still pretty. I'm gonna go up in here, right here with the white. And if you overlap it, it's okay. It's all about the design. So I'm gonna go up here with some white. And again, I'm taking it down the side of my canvas. Picking up the purple lavender again. Adding that there. Now I'm gonna pour some more of my paint into my and color. I'm Pouring again, everybody, is this neon pink. <laughs> I wanted to add some more where this is. So 
So just putting more paint on top of what I already have. Flipping it over, doing some yellow. And again, I'm bringing it down the sides of my canvas. Neon pink, bringing that up through. Adding a little bit more. And I'm going to kind of tilt it, uh oh, and add there. All right, what do you think so far, everyone? Now, if you decide to recreate this, please let me know. I want to see. So if you recreate one, please. You can tag me on Instagram at Turtle Creativity or I'm on um, Twitter at Turtle Create. I'm on Twitter. So please hit your girl up and let me see your creations. All right. Going down with the white. And again, this is the bundle that is not put together. And I like how when you don't bundle it up, how it gives it just a different feel. Bringing it around the edges. And let me see what color. I'm gonna go in with some yellow and put it over here. Yeah. I'm actually gonna turn this so I can get to it a little easier. <laughs> Doing my edges. I'm back with this neon pink. I'm telling you, I really like this neon pink. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty and let's go this way you guys still see all right so I'm gonna do the pretty and pink and I'm gonna bring it down this way and down my edges now a little bit more pretty and pink, just to make it thicker onto my canvas. All right, let's see, right here, I think I'm gonna do white. And bringing it down the canvas, the sides of the canvas. Okay. Go in with the lavender right here. And again, you can overlap it. Turn it a bit. to that neon pink <laughs> I went through a pink phase I remember when I was younger everything had to be pink the hot pink <laughs> everything had to be hot pink I'm going back with the yellow just to kind of darken that up a bit. Now, of 
course, without my gesso on my canvas, my colors are seeking into the canvas, but it's okay because I want to show you how to create this Q-tip painting, even if you didn't do all the fancy, fancy, fancy stuff of just sewing your canvas and all of that. <laughs> all right, so we're bringing the yellow down. And this is that lavender, so I'm gonna bring that down there. Have it come here. Going back with my neon pink. Adding more. And I'm gonna bring it down between the lavender. All right, friends. Again, adding more coats. And I'm going back through adding the pink and lavender lavender again and friends we're just about finished <laughs> Q-tip painting. I'm telling you, I love it. I definitely feel like it gives your painting a different texture than the regular brush. And something fun that the children can do something fun and different. Pick up the yellow, go in here. Right there, I think I'm gonna go in with some pretty pink. Just a, a little. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow because I wanna, right here, I wanna add some more of that yellow. Just bring it down. So let's see how I went ahead with that. All right, a little bit more of the pretty and pink right there. And then we're gonna add the glitter. All right, I see. Tilt it up a little bit. I want to add, bringing it down through. So the white. I would love to know if you're thinking about recreating this Q tip painting. What colors would you use? Let me know in the chat below. Like if you're thinking about doing this, what colors would you use for your Q-tip painting? Would you paint your canvas black or would you leave yours white? What colors would you use? Would you use all one color? That would be neat. If you had like the black and just you know, open up more areas of the black with one color. I, I I would love to know what you would use. I'm gonna bring that down and I want to come back in again, making my yellow. Just a little bit more present. And friends, I'm gonna get ready to pull out my Mod Podge spray. <laughs> Y'all should know I love that stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it. So 
we're going to get ready to add Q-tip painting, everybody. I mean, I want to know also in the comments below, what do you think about the Q-tip painting? Is it something that you will try with your kids? Is it something that you would try just yourself? Definitely is so many possibilities that you can do. And I'm just going, actually, friends, I have like extra paint left. <laughs> that I don't want to waste. So I'm like, oh, I'll go back over it. And guys, no, I don't like to waste too much stuff. So I just incorporated it in the painting. And just a little bit more of this neon. can see yeah. all right okay so I'm going to reach over for my glitter now this canvas is already um, wet the paint is already wet but I'm still going to spray Look how shiny it gets. Oh, I love my spot spray. <laughs> and my going to put the glitter. And I'm going a little bit heavier than I did on the other one, but I wanted the sparkle. with the silver glitter then I'm going to come back with my Mod Podge spray just to seal it in all right so there we have it our finished q-tip Glitter canvas. 